Uh, we just saw this, uh, so debounce time, that's where I'm basically debouncing the keystrokes, so that way we're not, it's a rate limiting operator, so that way we're not uh, blowing up our, uh, our API. Um, so it only emits values once a given interval is passed. It drops any previous values if new values arrive before that interval is, uh, is passed. Uh, defaults to milliseconds, so you saw in the example uh, we were using 500 milliseconds. Uh, and it also allows the schedule to be, scheduler to be supplied uh, to configure what the due time is interpreted as. So if you need something other than milliseconds. Um, and so here's kind of your marble diagram. Um, a, our source observable is emitted, uh, 20 ticks pass, I get A. B and C are really close together, uh, obviously too close within that 20 millisecond, uh, so B gets dropped, 20 milliseconds, uh, 20 ticks pass, I get C. D gets hit, 20 ticks pass, I get D. Completion notification, completion notification. Cool, questions? Super powerful uh, if you're doing any sort of like auto-completing or anything, so you don't want to just like, you know, jam out a whole bunch of network requests. And it drops those too, right? Because like if somebody's typing super really fast, I don't care about doing the query for S, U, P, and E, or S, you know, that string, right? It's only once they're finished that I want to then go ahead and hit my API.